Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory, and on this episode, we're going to start building away from this starter factory that we've got here, and actually start building individual factories for some of our various components. And on this particular one, we're going to be focusing on iron ingots. We need to build a lot of iron ingots for our planned Mega Factory 2.0. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. All right, before we dive into this really quick here, let's have a look at our planning board that we uh, built for our Mega Factory 2.0. So the first thing that we're going to be focusing on, or we want to look at here, is, okay, how did I come up with this? What all we're going to need? And that was with a spreadsheet that I spent a bunch of time on building to figure out what was going to be needed for the nuclear power plant. Also, what is ideal for the ultimate starter factory? And then combined that all into one ultimate mega factory to be able to handle everything that we needed to do. And I'm going to make this spreadsheet available for you um, on my Discord. You can download it and have a look at it. Um, but yeah, it's basically, it's got a tab there for uh, the optimal starter factory to be able to make all of your space elevator items. And then as well as the mega factory component of it, which is what is supported to be able to build our 2100 uranium nuclear power plant. And then there's a tab there that has everything all combined on it so you know exactly what you're going to need for your raw materials, which leads us to the next slide here. Raw materials. As you can see here, we're needing iron and limestone, copper, bauxite, sulfur, quartz, deuterium, uranium. The only thing not really listed on here for raw materials is um, any of the liquids because, well, they don't have a great uh, example of the raw material image that I could pull from to be able to put on the screen here. Um, so there is a bunch of liquid raw materials that we need, like oils and water and you know, that type of thing that we've got to deal with, as well as coal isn't on here because that's going to fluctuate as I'm going to need to build a bunch more coal plants as we start leading into um, building the the nuclear power plant. And then I'm going to end up removing those power plants. So that amount of coal is going to fluctuate throughout the series as we're building our Mega Factory 2.0. But our main focus for this episode is the iron ore. And that's going to be building our Ironworks Mega Factory or our Ironworks Ingot Factory is what we're going to be working on. With roughly about 4,700 iron ore is what we need. The Mega Factory, it might contain a little bit more than that. It all depends on how the nodes work out and the design of the factory. But excess materials will end up getting dumped into Awesome Sink, so it's not really too much of a concern. So, but. Our bare minimum is about 4,700 iron ore is what is required. So we need to at least hit that goal of those materials getting combined into iron ingots. And of course, the iron ingot recipe we're going to be using for our particular, particular example is the pure iron ingot alternate recipe in the refinery. So it'll be ultimately a big refinery plant that we'll be building. Where do we build it? That's the next thing that we got to think about. So I went to Satisfactory Calculator, did a little bit of digging, and went and found all of the iron nodes that are located on the map. And as you can see in the northeast corner there, in that big desert area, there is a huge cluster of iron available for us there. Specifically, a lot of pure iron nodes all clustered in one area, which makes it great because then we don't need as many miners spread out all over the place to try to get all those materials in. So that is, our goal is in that area, in that desert, is where we're going to want to go and build this factory. All right, so after looking at that map that we got from Satisfactory Calculator on where our iron node locations are, we can see that our destination on a lot of this isn't discovered for us yet. There's still a bunch of areas we haven't moved around or, or explored over here. But this is the destination we're going to be building our iron factory is over here. So we've got 4,690 iron ingots that we've got to be able to crank out. So 
it's off in this direction so let's head out that way and get things set up for where we're going to build that factory so as we're heading over to our destination where we're going to be building our iron ingot factory key points of interest here is this section of water here is going to become very useful for us seems how we're going to be building everything with refineries for our iron ingots because we're doing the pure iron ingot alternate recipe we need a water source and this water source is very convenient because it's located way up here so we don't ever have to worry about head lift when we're pumping the water because we'll just pump it straight off the edge here down and then out to wherever we're going to go there is additional water sources that are down here but if we pull it from that top section we never have to worry about head lift and in the center of this area here like we've got this little rock cropping i think that might be a good like launching point for us to be able to start building uh because the larger concentration of the pure iron ingots are in this area here so that will help prevent us having too many mark three miners in this area so now we've kind of got our our kickoff point here here's that outcropping now it's a matter of getting some type of a foundation in here and figure out how we're going to do some logistics to be able to get the materials in here. So we'll get started by getting our initial platform built and then trying to build some foundation to support that platform because I am going to do my absolute best to try to put this into a building that resembles something. So let's get the foundation built. All right, so we did kind of get started with a platform here and but it really didn't end up turning out to be a platform after all. Um, we are here. This is that little pillar area that um, I had initially started, you know, where I wanted to build this platform. And we have basically built up a structure and then using the blueprint model for those transport tubes, I have set up, this is basically a collection hub that's here and all of our ore we're going to have seven conveyors worth of 780 items per minute are going to come into this distribution hub. And then they're going to shoot off into these seven tunnels into some refinery arrays for our, um, for our iron ingots. So, uh, it's, I think it's, it's kind of taken some shape and I'm, I, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Um, we kind of have a cluster here of, conveyors that are all feeding up into this and then they are all coming down like we've got uh, seven locations now where i have some mark three miners set up here they're sending the materials back to that distribution hub and then i do have some like exit ports here i mean this is a big change for me everything is inside of a building and i don't usually do buildings and uh, i certainly don't plan when i'm building I don't know if you've gone back and seen any of my Minecraft videos. Um, I just start building and whatever ends up happening happens. So that's kind of what's going on here. This is kind of going to turn into some like lunar module type thing where there's these separate little capsules where everything kind of comes together with all these connecting tubes. I think that's how this is going to kind of proceed and it seems to be working okay this way so far. So and of course i do have that's uh one mine location there we have another mine location there i've started the third one fourth is over there fifth is way off that way six is there and number seven is there i might like work my way around um i'm not sure i'm not sure exactly how it's going to go yet we've got one that's going to shoot off that way and then i may continue out that way and then down so that we can get to that one um but all in all it's coming together and then above each of these once i figure out how wide the array is going to be um i will build over top of all this will be the uh, refinery arrays that's going to be making our pure iron ingots so we got seven lines we're going to be making slightly more than required and um i will end up having excess going into awesome sync so that we can continue to make our fix it coupon so that we can work towards our goal of having all of those trophies done. So that's where we're at now. I'm gonna continue building this section down here with uh, all of the miners, get all of the miners connected and then have everything uh, powered up and running materials into here. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll have a look at how that's all looking. 
and uh, move forward from there. So sit back while I get some more of this built out. All right, I have done it. We have got all seven lines of 780 items per minute of iron ore coming into our distribution hub here where it'll shoot off into the seven different directions here. But for whatever reason, like the conveyors are just creating so much lag that I've got going on now. Um, it's like the, the frame rates just totally drop off when I uh, when I start looking to wherever there's going to be some conveyors and stuff. So, But hopefully things will clean out here. Hopefully they start getting some updates going to kind of fix some of that. But So here we are. We're looking around the outside here. That's the node that goes off into that far direction. There's another, or that's just a pedestal that's there. Another node is right there. Another node far off into the distance. And then this one here, here, and then that one. And there should be one, yeah, right here. So all seven nodes are all feeding up into this, basically starburst here, where we're gonna set up and get our refineries all put in. So. Now, it's just a matter of figuring out, okay, what is it going to look like with these refineries here? So, I'm going to start with one side and kind of go from there and see what it'll look like once we get those refineries in. Okay, with our raw materials of iron ore, we also needed to make sure we have water going down to our refinery plants that we've got down there. So, we've got all of these water extractors set up here on this... Uh, little lake that's way up on that bluff above the desert and um, mainly that's to help with head lift so that we don't end up having to deal with head lift down at our factory at all with that said because of the height of the foundation that i have here i have had to put in some water pumps just to aid with a little bit of boost on head lift up here and so we have seven lines of 600 water per minute which is a little bit more water than we actually need but we have that all shooting down and it basically runs down along this foundation and then it goes down this way and off towards our factory. So let's have a look from the inside of the factory how things are set up. All right, so from the last time you saw this, we had our seven lines of raw materials all getting fed into the center here. And then we were branching off into uh, seven different directions for our raw materials heading into for the factory. So let's head off this way. And so we have, in each one of these wings, we have 22 refineries set up that are processing. It works out to about 770 iron ore per minute on each side. And that is all getting you know refined into our iron ingots then the iron ingots all kind of feed around work their way around this way and end up exiting out this side of each wing and we've done this now seven times and as you can see i've got the water pipes they're coming in getting easily equally distributed along and uh if we head off into so this has been re repeated now seven times for all this. So we've got another batch of 22 refineries taking care of this raw material line. And then we scoot around this way. Same thing happening here. 22 refineries. 22 more refineries, 22 more refineries, 22 more and again. And each one of these are set up identical to the other one. So from there, let's head outside and see kind of what this all looks like from the outside. Okay, so we're now under these buildings that we have constructed here. And so this should be, this is the first wing that's right here. And so um, the materials come out this side and end up getting fed in through these conveyor systems into this line where they're all getting accumulated up. And then if there was a row that wasn't right up to 780 items per minute, I've been feeding out of this and into this side to be able to combine with this factory and so on and so forth. It comes over and we have the same thing where we have our lines are getting combined over there. 
and then any excess is flowing over. And we do this for all seven of the factories. And forgive the little lag bits here. It seems when I look more towards where my starter factory is, that the lag spike just instantly jumps. So uh, I'm thinking it's related to conveyors. I'm not entirely sure, but um, it definitely doesn't like when I look this way. See right there is where my starter factory is. Once I've looked that way, it seems okay. But um, yeah, and then if I look away, you look away for a bit and then you, you come back, it's gonna lag again. See, we run into that same lag and it's because that's where the starter factory is, is way over that way. So it's really chunks out when we start looking in that direction. So anyhow, that brings us to this line right here is where all of our iron ingots end up coming out at. And so if we look down here, we have 13 lines of ingots. 12 of them are a full 780 items per minute. And then one of them is 650, which brings us a total of 10,010 iron per minute of iron ingots is what we're making. Now, right now, all of this is just getting dumped into a temporary awesome sink set up here just so that we are making coupons and these all of these factories are running and we can look up from the distance here kind of how everything all turned out so this is my first ever building that i've, I've built lots of factories but this is my first enclosed building structure that I decided to give a go at and see how we did. So up there is where we're pulling our water from. We built this bridge aqueduct system here that's bringing all the water on pipes across. And then they feed in on the top of this starburst and then divide into each one of our refinery plants. And all this is just to make our iron ingots for our planned mega factory that we're doing. And you can see the smoke's just chugging away in there. Everything is all building. Everything's all lit. We added some um, sign accents here, giving everything, like I've got a, a, the theme for the iron is red. So everything over here is all done in red. And I think all in all, I think this structure turned out pretty good. So we've got all of our raw materials, our iron ore coming in on this lower level structure with all of these tubes that are all connecting, bringing everything together. And then it all elevates up and comes in underneath the aqueduct system here. So everything comes up on this point, it all feeds in and then it distributes off from this center point into each one of these little factories. And I think for my first attempt at building a building, I think everything kind of turned out okay. So this was the factory to get us to 10,000, which is a little bit more than we need. I think our actual total iron ingots combined that we needed was like 8,800-ish. So we are making about 1,200 extra iron ingots, but we'll have awesome things kind of all over the place to be able to take care of any excess materials and whatnot. Now, if we look at our power consumption here right now, we are, our max production right now is 31 gigawatts. So we have about nine gigawatts of play left here that we can play with. And we're consuming 23 gigawatts uh, with everything running right now. That's including our starter factory and what's here. Now, all of this stuff is running full bore 100% because I have everything getting dumped into every one of these 780 items per minute are getting dumped straight into the awesome sink. So all of this is running nonstop. So we have no slowdown. And that's also going to... Um, mean the same thing for all of our miners. If we go down to each one of these miners, they should be just running full out 780 items coming off of them. If I could get through the door, there we go. And these are all slightly overclocked to get us to our 780 items per minute. And these things are just grinding away. Now, iron ingots, they don't make a lot of awesome, uh, awesome ticket points, but they, they do okay. Like it's, it's better than it's just sitting here doing nothing. Um, I don't know what we're, our total is right now. I know we're at 102 coupons here right now. I wanna say we're like 250-ish, I think, sitting in the chest. So we're getting closer to that thousand point 
Um, but once we start getting towards our nuclear power plant and we get the, um, the nuclear waste getting recycled, all of a sudden our tickets are just going to climb through the roof because we'll get massive points for the uranium, uh, sorry, the plutonium fuel rods getting dumped into the awesome sink. So, all right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And um, let me know in the comments what you think of our mega factory iron ingot plant. I've uh, dubbed this Iron Works is the name of this plant. And um, now for the next episode, we'll have to figure out which raw material we're going to work on next, whether it be copper or limestone. Uh, but I want to get all of the raw materials, all of the ore processing. We're going to get each of those factories done first before we start diving into uh, starting to assemble some things. So let me know what you guys think. And um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to reach down, hit the like button on the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. About 90% of my views are coming from unsubscribed viewers. So feel free to reach down, hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter because uh, I post on there as well because we all know how YouTube notifications work. So, yeah, with that said, you guys all have a good one and we'll see you in the next episode.